everyone, it's Emily. I hope you guys are all having a great day today. So as you can tell from the title, today I'm going to be sharing how to make a YouTube banner in 2018. And a lot has changed since the last time I made this video. And I feel like I say this in every single how to make a YouTube banner because there's just things that change. And one of the major changes in this video is that I will no longer be using pickmonkey.com. I've actually switched over to Photoshop and kind of taught myself how to use it. And today I'm just going to show you a really beginner, basic, easy way to make a banner. So if you guys are trying to follow any of my tutorials from the past, you might notice that PicMonkey actually tries to charge you when you save your photo and all your hard work pretty much went to nothing. So I mean, if you guys want to pay the membership fee so you can make your banner on there, that's totally fine. But I just figured Photoshop might be easier and a better skill to learn anyway. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So starting off on your channel, this is what it should look like and there should be two buttons and you want to click on customize channel and this will actually show the old YouTube layout. So now that you could see this screen right here, you can go up to the top right hand corner and there is a pen right on your banner and all you have to do is click edit channel art and this screen pops up and then we're going to go down to the bottom where it says how to make channel art and this is where we're going to get the template so that you don't have to worry about sizing issues. So you want to click on the button that says image size and guidelines and there will be a link right here as you can see that says channel art templates and you will download that and since we are using Photoshop today I already have it on my desktop and I'm just gonna simply drag it into Photoshop and if you've never used Photoshop before, this is like super, super basic, but down here on the right hand side, there is going to be a folder with all the layers that you see that create this little template right here. So if you press the I button, it either makes it appear or disappear, depending on if you want to see it or not. So for now, we're just going to leave all those guidelines there so we can go ahead and set up what our banner looks like. And I usually like putting my name on my banner. This is totally a personal preference, but I will just kind of type my name out and then use the font that I'd like. So you could see me doing that here and after that I'll just adjust the size all of that and get it centered or place it wherever I want on the banner I usually like to stay in like the very dark rectangle and if I have any designs then that can go a little bit outside of that but I always have my text in the dark rectangle so just so you guys know Now I'm going to show you a super simple way of how I get like an outline around my text or like a highlight. I'm going to double click on the T and put select pixels and this is what you should see happen. And you're going to go all the way up to the top bar and put select, modify, and you can either do any of these but I'm just going to show you what like border would look like. So once you click on that, a box pops up to see how many megapixels you want it to be and I just put in like a number that's worked for me in the past. So then you'll see your pixels expand like so and then you're just going to create another the layer which is this little page looking thing right here you're going to put it underneath the text because obviously you want it to be an outline not like covering the whole the word now you want to go to edit and then fill just make sure you have the colors you want to be the outline and then this little bubble pops up and you can play with like all the settings and stuff but those are my preset settings and as you can see I have a black outline now that's more of like a border and just for organization purposes I always like to group the text and the layer together if I'm doing something like an outline because it just makes it easier if I need to move stuff around so once I figured out where I wanted my text I'm just gonna go ahead and move on to the background now to make this video a little easier I've already picked out what I want my background to be via Google and also like the overlays that I'm going to be using so I wanted my banner to be like this gray color and I'm sure there's a way for you to like adjust the color on here but for simplicity wise this is what we're gonna do and also I just went back in the specs folder and just hid a lot of the items because I didn't want to see it now moving on to the overlays like I said I already downloaded a lot of these that I wanted to use on my banner from like Google and Pinterest so a good tip is to just search whatever image you want on your banner and just put PNG at the end because that pretty much means that there's going to be a transparent background and if you need any inspiration ideas on how you should decorate your banner or create it you can definitely look at my old videos on how to make a YouTube banner because I show so many different varieties since my channel has evolved over time so this is what I'm just going to do for today's banner I know it's a little different than the current one that's on my channel with like a lot more stars on it but another easy tip is that you can actually duplicate 
these layers and just add a bunch more all over and this is a part where I'm not too afraid to go outside of the darker rectangle but you can definitely look at other youtubers banners to get inspiration I know a lot more people like having their photo on there or you like having like more words on there and saying when you upload you can definitely add that on Photoshop like literally you could do anything on Photoshop and I wanted the stars to pop out a little bit more from the background so I'm doing the same thing that I did to my name and giving it an outline but instead of using black I'm just using white so it kind of pops out a little bit more and again grouping the layers to keep everything organized because if you don't group them it gets really really confusing And after looking at this, I thought that we should add a little bit more stars, so I'm just going to copy and paste some of the groups and just move around the extra stars, and that kind of makes it a little bit better because when you look at it on desktop, you'll see the whole little section of just like stars and your name and stuff, but just know not all of them are going to show up either like on mobile or tablet because we are outside of the dark rectangle at this point. Once you're happy with your banner, go ahead and click file, export, and export as dot dot dot, and then this screen will pop up and you just pretty much export export all because if you only do part of it then only part of your layers are going to show so just go ahead and save that onto your desktop and name it whatever you'd like now we're going back onto youtube to upload what you just created so just make sure you don't do anything else at this point you just want to upload it you don't want to make any changes to it like there's like an auto enhance feature at the bottom right which you don't want to click on because that makes your photos look really funky but that is pretty much it it will save and this is what your banner should look like and we are done Alrighty, so that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope you guys found it helpful and enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And also, if you have any other suggestions on videos I should make, let me know in the comments below. And if you guys are not subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button because I post videos every single week. I never miss a week, like ever. And I also have a blog if you guys want to check that out. Everything is literally linked down below as always. Thanks again for watching and I will talk to you guys real soon. Bye!